Pollen counts across the country are exploding. 30% of the country tonight is in the medium high range. The areas in red here on your screen are where it's worst. Errol Barnett reports from North Carolina. When an annual ride of spring collided with an incoming thunderstorm in North Carolina recently, the pictures looked like Armageddon, or Palmageddon, as photographer Jeremy Gilchrist described his drone footage showing tree pollen hovering in the atmosphere. It left a thick yellow pollen film, everything outside coated by the male flower seed. So, Doctor, these are the culprits yeah. right now, anyway. Yeah, these are the bad actors you see. So, sort of the tallest ones there, the big towering pine trees. A recent study analyzed pollen data from 17 locations across the globe and found that climate change may be making things worse. Allergist Dr. David Fitzhugh. You know, as we see climate change evolving, allergy seasons tend to start earlier, they tend to last longer, and the absolute pollen counts are much higher. Last week, the pollen count in North Carolina was the highest of the year at more than 3,200 grains per cubic meter of air, or very high. And this video from Tennessee shows just how much pollen is visible throughout the South. That's bad news for the more than 50 million Americans with seasonal allergies. Dr. Fitzhugh's advice is to avoid the outdoors, if possible, or consider allergy shots to help your body fight back. So what's bad for my nose is good for your business. I can't argue with that, Errol. Errol Barnett, CBS News, Chapel Hill, North Carolina.